Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a new feature that's going out in 245 release and it is related to uploading variables against the template. Earlier we had only one option of uploading the variable against the template and that was through JSON file. But now we've made it super easy for you guys by giving you an option to upload the variables against the template using CSV. I'll show you how it looks like. So from the app selector I will go to wireless management. I will go to variables and here now you see there are two options one is JSON and the second is CSV. In order to get started I will download the sample variable file which is CSV in this case. I will download the file. I will open the file and here you see that all the variables are defined in columns so you can define variables here and you can start adding devices uh, as rows and then, then give values for the variables for those devices in columns. But one thing to note here is, let me expand these columns for a second. One thing to note is this modified field. Uh, it is very important that uh, anytime you add a variable, make sure that you keep the modified field as Y. It can have two values, M and Y. Y means yes, this field is modified. And what it means is that uh, anytime you upload a variable file, we we look at the, um, the, the file and scan the modified column first to figure out what variables do we need to actually uh, update on central. And this helps us do the whole scanning process very fast. So imagine you have thousands of variables, but when you put in the file, you only made changes to two. So it would help us um, quickly figure out what variables need to be updated. So anytime you make a change, please keep the modified field as Y for those variables. I'll give you an example. Let's say this is some random stuff. I'm making it up here. Right? This is Y, this is N. And if I upload this file, only this row right here will actually get updated on central because the modified field is Y. So now you guys understand how this CSV file looks like and what is this modified column. Everything else is just variables. You can define more variables and give them values for those devices as you go down. I'm going to close this. I don't want to save this. So now we have seen how to uh, make uh, changes to the downloaded uh, sample file. And you can just easily update that uh, variable file just like you would update or, or rather upload a JSON file. In the same way, you will upload the CSV file. And that's it. All the variables will be seen here. So, again, what we've seen is that now there's an easier and better way to upload your variables, and that is through CSV. Thank you, and I hope you found this uh, video useful.